I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered in front of all my people at my agency. Because P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Come you on. got to tell him no. Come I, on. I did. Young living every day, giving it to you and cutting straight. Why L.E. said it. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I know that video, y'all, is about Cat Williams and that interview he had. He had a lot to say about a lot of people. You know, Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, Harvey Weinstein, Diddy, Cedric the Entertainer. Let's find out what he was talking about. Let's dive into it. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have no one of these. Amen, amen. Gee. <laughs> I, I kind of <clears throat> get on here. Right. <laughs> After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm, mm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah. Oh, because I was ask because that. because in thirty years I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You would tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. They all know it. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life. And See, that's what he's talking about. He's saying he paid for that information, pretty much. All those little, them little butt pirate little things that they be doing behind the scenes. You know the guys that act as if they're heterosexuals, but down low, they dealing with other men. That's what he's talking about. He's like, I got that information, I got that intel, and I got receipts. But let's continue. And don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. And they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? That's why I'm saying that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. I told them to go get the prowler. I then told them to paint it purple. I told them don't have an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp Archbishop Magic Don Juan to play like I. I did far too much work for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self-aggrandizement. Why didn't Cube set the record straight? Terry Crews could have set the record straight. Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those lies that but no I didn't one's know ever heard. Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt, Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, this is a business. But that's the thing, Kat. <laughs> Normally when people are giving you information, I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time and they're giving information no one else knows or have ever heard. So I'm taking them at face value. These are like, this is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. Now, I'm not sure. Y'all tell me, is that true? He's saying Steve Harvey was never homeless. Cal Williams saying, that was my story. He said Steve Harvey was getting $5,000 a show. Excuse me, $3,000 a show five times a week. Man, that's $15,000 a week. That's $60,000 a month. That's far from homeless. Let's continue.
They, they just tell the stories. This my thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget <laughs> that. You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. He ain't lying about that one. That other wife he got is very masculine. In this interview was about um her uh one of her first kids' fathers. He uh was interviewed as well. He spoke about um, Steve Harvey wife man that lady is a savage man she is about the money and we all know not to go off the deep rail but when women most women when they you know um make a lot of money you know they tend to take on these masculine traits so that's what Cat Williams is applying to like you married a woman who think like a man for sure she's a savage she took over a guy's uh drug deal business so you already know what kind of mindset she is or kind of woman she had to be to do so. But let's continue. Like, what are you talking about? They just they think they can rewrite history. That uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. Hmm. Hey, man, I'm gonna be honest. Outside of him, I don't know nobody before him and I definitely don't know nobody after uh, Kevin Hart who's done that. Sounds pretty valid, man. Um, Let's continue. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. They don't. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It did happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. It's funny he said that because he sold out the Madison Square Garden, but the Madison Square Garden is definitely on the East Coast in New York. What do you guys think, man? Hey, when this video air, why don't y'all comment in chat? Let me know y'all opinion on what he's saying. But let's continue. But Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's deep. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. Satan don't bless people. That's a very, very, very concrete statement right there. Let's continue. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. You're goddamn right. That is a fact. Because you know there's a lot of good to be selling their soul and doing all these weird things and doing all these behind the scenes gay um tactics and things they done and then they play heterosexual they favorite thing is to do is always act like yeah you know it's all about god man you know god is the reason i'm here that is the truth man they get in those interviews on them platforms and they always say and act as if they don't know nothing about none of that they play crazy like they completely oblivious to that world you're not lying let's continue they all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. Mm. That is the thing too. Gary Owen's been doing this for a while and he's white and he haven't been able to cross over. That definitely right there will raise some suspicion right there. Mm. Let's continue. 
It's a cabal. It's a it's a consortium. They they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered this in front of all my people at my agency. Oh! What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo! Huh. So you wonder what they did to get there. <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yo, that's big right there. He said, Harvey Weinstein offered to blow the wick off my candle. I said no. He said, then three more black dudes showed up on the scene with the script. What did y'all do? It'd be some spicy down low DL behavior going on behind the scenes over there. Real weird, man. Let's continue, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. So he's saying they had a little battle and he got on his hairpiece before everybody found out and everybody, you know, didn't know he was wearing one. Say they got into a whole thing, the battle, you know, and they was going at it with each other and it would come to find out that that's what he said and it's concrete that would definitely mess up somebody's um reputation for sure that's a that's a killer right there that that'll throw you out the water i think if you're gonna um do certain things in life you gotta be able to own it first you gotta take like the the b rabbit uh route on eight mile like you gotta say it about yourself so they can't use it against you dang man that will definitely tear somebody's stand up out that's embarrassing, humiliating, all, etc. That's wild. But let's continue, y'all. You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie. Hold up. So he tried to backdoor Bernie Mac and try to get Ocean's Eleven and then say he didn't want to be a movie star? Hey, everybody watching this. Comment in the chat, excuse me, comment down below. But um, let's continue. I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have, you, have, ever been on, have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. Damn! So, so you, no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Oh! Like, you gotta be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100 city tour. 
I'm not going to have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym, but you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no, there's too many comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Okay. Let's get to your upbringing. We're going to circle back and we'll get some. Uh -huh. I want to protect him real quick because you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019, but did you mean 1999? Because it came out in 2000, so I just want to make no, sure. I no, no, no. So what I meant to say was, remember, he said, I couldn't do stand-up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I said he didn't have any of those TV shows at the time. I know, you talking about, about Cedric. Joke stealer from Cedric. Yeah, Cedric. Oh, okay, so you so, said that okay. 2018, 2019, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. Okay, no, 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 no. What comes out in 2000? The, the original Kings of Comedy. Right. My... I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're using this as the commercial in 1998. Okay. That's why I'm saying, yeah. So, so if I, right. yeah. So if I yeah. said the date's no, wrong, just, yeah. Just, so yes. you, let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said, yeah. I had Cedric on here, and I asked him about the joke stealing, and yeah. he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your, to to that point, you say. Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab to help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, mm -hmm. and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy and he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. You know what though? That's crazy because a lot of them do that in music, man. A lot of rappers be stealing from uh, lyrics and uh, things from other artists or maybe artists on their way up that's coming in the game. They be taking from them because they don't have a big name yet. So they'll go take it, go use it, change it up to make it seem like it was theirs, but they really stole it from somebody else. That's that's some dirty stuff, man. Say Cedric, the entertainer, then stole his his uh joke and then used it because he felt like he was a bigger platform than he was at this present time. That's some dirty shit right there, man. That's crazy. But let's continue, y'all. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times. <laughs> and Kat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon, I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just gonna lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group, Cedric. Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for, is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Say you know somebody is very um, honest, open, direct. You know them to be that kind of person it's not wise for you to take something from them. Apologize about it 
and then go online and act as if you didn't when you know what kind of person they are you know what they're capable of saying you know what they know about you that's just not a wise decision for a person huh but let's continue now i've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. What? Yo. That's crazy because, you know, when you get to that level, man, and, you, you know, you get to taking that big money. More than likely, it's going to come with a lot of sacrificing and a lot of, like he said, man, some um, some butthole taking. So at the end of the day, I don't blame him, man. Say that's what's up at stake for that $200 million. I'm one of them guys who going to say, nah, you can keep that. It must not be meant for me to get that. I ain't going against the grain for that, for that. Nah, I can't do that. But a lot of guys will, and a lot of guys have. Let's continue. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can say them so freely. I need another one. You, here, get you another one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being... Can't. Man. Can't. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> because I'm favored by God. Like, when I see people's wives and stuff, I don't even look at them. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to look at nothing I don't want to have. Because I, I know how blessed I am. If I look at it, I got it. <laughs> That's how Diddy be feeling. Now, come on, man. Come. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not supposed to look at anything that you don't want. Not me personally, just because God has given me literally everything I ever even pump faked like I want. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the whole thing. That's that's the whole thing is I don't I don't have a type of woman. Every woman that I ever had as a type, I ended up getting her. Now she's not the type anymore. Now I understand that every woman is a one of one. Like you can't really have types. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all, listen, the crazy thing is we're going to pull up a few uh things um i know for sure that um kevin hart responded cedric the entertainer responded ricky smiley responded and we gonna you know look at those right now now this is what kevin hart had to say you gotta get that anger about you champ it's honestly sad in the meantime please enjoy my movie trailer to my next film lift which will be dropping on netflix in eight days there's a moment in the trailer where google i don't know who that person is says they really love you. I know now. And this is what Cedric the Entertainer had to say. Cedric the Entertainer says, Revisionist history. Regardless of whatever cast opinion, my career can be reduced to one joke Cat Williams claims is his. I've been in over 40 specials, movies, and brands speaks volumes for who I am. The people I have put on, including Cat in the Hat at the Gibson Amphitheater. Now, let's listen to the audio of um, what Ricky Smiley had to say. You know, comedy greats like uh, Flip Wilson played Geraldine, Richard Pryor played some roles on his show, uh, Jamie Foxx played Wanda, uh, Martin played Shanene, um, uh, I did, Bernie Jenkins, Tyler Perry did, Madea has a lot of comics and a lot of comedy greats that did characters for the sake of funny, for entertainment, for the sake of the laugh. And it has nothing to do with nobody's uh, comfortable in the role. Nobody wants to put on a, a, a damn dress or, or comfortable in it, you know. Uh, uh, that has nothing to do with my manhood being lessened for uh, trying to play a role and trying to put food on the table for my family. Yeah, yeah, People I did a sketch with, uh, with, with my dear me, Earthquake, Tyler Perry. Uh, Nisi Nash, uh, we did a thing called The Pew. It's supposed to be like The View, but it was a church-based version of The View, and uh, it was just kind of great to see Bernie Jenkins. So everybody responded, but it's funny. Everybody spoke on their situation, but none of them denied anything that Cat Williams said. And Cat Williams said he had receipts. And he said they knew. 
it's funny all of them had something to say but they never denied what he said Cedric the entertainer revisionist history regardless of whatever cat's opinion my career can't be reduced to one joke cat williams claims as is i've been over 40 excuse me i've been in over 40 movies my specials and brand speaks volumes for who i am the people i have put on including cat williams excuse me including cat in the hat at the gibson amphitheater keywords claim so he trying to talk about all his accolades and saying his career can be reduced it's not about your career being reduced it's about whether or not you stole his joke you see what i'm saying now it's funny how they know how to word things a certain way to try to deflect from what he's talking about then he says i've been over 40 movies my specials and brand speaks volumes for who i am the people i have put on including cat in the hat at the gibson amphitheater so just because you gave somebody an opportunity just because you've been in over 40 movies you got specials and brands don't take away from the fact that you stole his joke you're not denying it you're just trying to talk around which leading me to believe that everything he said is true y'all not denying it Kevin Hart said you promote your movie you're saying got to get that anger out your champ but you're not denying what he said Boy, these are very media trained responses. I can tell you that right now. Media trained responses. But listen, y'all, man. Um, so all I got to say about this video, before I get out of here, y'all, let's be on our purpose. Let's be on our grind. Let's get our money on point. Let's get the mind on point. Let's get the body on point. Develop them social skills. And last but not least, get a passport, travel to a destination you're liking. After you've done your homework, you done locked in. You done got a consultation with the right person in that country that got a proof of concept. Once you do that and you know how to move and you see it, you can't unsee it. Listen, like, comment, subscribe, man. Everybody watching, let me know what you think in the comments. Tell a friend, then tell a friend, then tell another friend. I appreciate all y'all support. Listen, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Got the streets on fire, feel the heat, the wane, way. Ain't never had no handouts, put in work, I'm self made. Superhero strength, I got the power, Luke Cage. Flexing on them haters like Drake. This is real rap, no cap. Bust it down like packs. Hustle hard like I trap. I'm certified.